Who we at? Cancer? Okay. So you're going through an adjustment period. Hi, welcome to One Message in the Bottle Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. All right, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. These will be your January monthlies. Okay, thank you to all my beautiful messengers, uh, the loyal ones. Thank you to all the subscribers. Um, and if you're new here, go ahead and tap in and join the family. I really appreciate you. All the likes, shares, subscribes. Uh, when you guys book a reading and I get to connect with you, I love it so much. So continue to do that. And uh, the love donations and the tips, all that. Thank you so, so very much. Um, if you need any information on booking a personal reading or showing support to the channel, all that information is in the description box of the video uh, where you can donate by Cash App or PayPal. Uh, if you like to book a reading, just DM me. All the information is there. Okay. Cancer. So right off the bat, uh, you're going through some sort of adjustment is what I'm hearing. I'm going to pull out some love oracles for you. This will be your main focus for January 2020. Cancer. Adjustment. That's too many. Cancer, January 2021, please. Okay, stop. Yes, adjustment. All right. So we have the chaos button, okay? Uh, somebody, I just heard my world's being turned upside down. Yeah, somebody's world being turned upside down. Uh, number nine, uh, wounded. Um, I'm hearing isolation, feeling like one is by themselves, feeling like uh, one is going through uh, an upheaval, all right? And you may feel alone in that. This is the card of chaos here. So in some, uh, in some aspect of your life, you may be going through a rough transition or this is someone in relation to you. Maybe you're cross watch here, okay? Uh, but some form of chaos. We'll get into it. The specifics as we go on through our reading. Again, uh, these are general readings. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? Cancer. Yeah, and it's moving fast, it's moving swift, and it's uh, it's tearing up everything in this path, whatever this energy is. Cancer. Um, I'm also hearing emotional, too, emotional chaos. Things are coming up. These uh, cards keep trying to come up in, uh, in twos. I'm feeling like somebody uh, manipulating uh, your emotions is fucking with your confidence, Okay. A, a very manipulative energy here and that's the reason why you're done you're done with somebody uh playing with your emotions here i have the confidence card and the high priestess of water and all these numbers together add up to a 10 this is uh and, and that's a finality that's an ending here and maybe that is what the chaos is and it's because you're tired of someone uh using uh your loyalty I'm hearing uh, your kindness, uh, the fact that uh, I'm getting soulmate energy or, or, or some, some kind of kinship energy within a partnership, all right? Uh, someone's taking you for a ride. Um, someone thinks that you are a fool. Someone thinks that you aren't intuitive. Someone, you know what I mean? It's just like, uh, and someone uh, preying on your kindness, taking your kindness for weakness, and that is the reason why. Uh, Wow, uh, there, there is this exit is what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, you're trying to come out in twos here. Uh, so if it keeps happening like that, I'm just going to take the messages, okay? Cancer, water. So you're definitely showing up here with this high priestess of water. Yeah, you're, some, you're tired of someone uh, using your loyalty. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Cards are flying everywhere. And two just fell on the floor. All right, and let's see what we have here. Oh, the fledglings and differences. Okay, six. Yep, and this is another ending. This is a ten. You're 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 done here. I'm feeling like someone um in your circle, inner circle, some sort of energy that is uh. 
uh, of common law to you or something like that. Um, the, the bad is outweighing the good or something about this personality, some, something about their energy uh, takes you out of pocket, takes you off your path, especially if it's a divine path, especially if it's a path where you're trying to uh, do the right things. If you know, And that's why the Bible uh, says a lot with connections, how can two walk together lest they uh, be uh, in agreement, basically, right? And they always tell you, uh, when you are a person of the light, when you're a person that's walking towards the light and you're working with your ancestors and you're doing the work of divine ascension, uh, you know, light can go into darkness, but nine times out of 10, that darkness, okay, um, overcomes that light, that good works, that good things that you are trying to do. And again, um, through manipulation uh, here, through lower vibrational um, energy here, we have differences, all right? Um, they say two sides of the same coin, but again, when you flip a coin, it's one thing on one side, it's something on the other, right? Um, so yeah, that's another reason that the differences are, are just too great. And a lot of the um, bad is outweighing the good here. So that's another reason uh, while you, why you will be separating uh, cancer or someone will be separating uh, from you, okay? It's on the bottom of this deck. Yeah, choices, yep. And that's another 10. Jesus, Lord, you guys are not playing around. But who is fucking around in 2021? Again, I tell you guys that, you know, once that clock turned in 2020, I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, I was just like, okay, 2020, I exhausted all fucking measures. Like, I really fucking tried. In fact, I've been really trying for a long time with a lot of folks that just really don't fucking deserve it. You know what I mean? And then if you go beyond just 2020, 2020 with the global pandemic and the stress of that shit and people still being on fuckery, you know what I mean? Like, damn right. By the end of 2020, I was a little bit in my feelings just deciding, you know what? I'm done. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, you know, and a lot of these people you've already given extensions to second chances, third, fourth, fifth, you know, or whatever. And they play with their feelings because they know that they can because they're used to you turning the other cheek because they're taking your kindness for weakness and taking your gentleness and your, you know what I mean? Like you want to do right. And even if they want to fucking do wrong, they know that you'll keep, you know, entertaining them because you want to do the right thing. So as long as you got one person always doing the right thing, then the other person can do what the fuck you want to do. I think be fuck not. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. So that's why there is upheaval here. You see? Yeah, tired. Somebody, uh, 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 secrets and games and, and exposure and things coming out. And it's just like, yeah, like you, you left me no choice. I have to turn this shit upside down. I get the feeling of Jesus coming in and kicking over the tables and the temple type energy. Um, so if this is you or in relation to you or something like that, my dear, that's what's going on. All right. Cancer 2021. And I got 222. Two, two, so, yeah. And you break that down. That's a one. So, yeah, we are definitely uh, on the money here. I got three. Three cards just came out. It's a lot of cards. But um, I'm going to take that as third party energy. So, too many people in your business or about your business, or especially if this is a connection. Okay. I'm feeling uh, really aggressive here. Yep, devil. Somebody's in devil energy 24-7. Uh, devil in the red dress. The devil that you thought you knew, but you don't. Somebody is, you know, that doesn't even recognize somebody. Somebody has turned into a monster here. Okay, this may be somebody from your past, somebody in your present. Both, you know, with the five uh, plus the one is the six. Um, so if this is a relationship. This this is one that has turned violently uh toxic here and uh dealing with this person this energy uh that they this person has a, a very destructive um type of energy there's no reasoning uh with this energy um here uh causes nothing uh but pain and breaking is what i'm hearing breaking 
um, what is this? The two of coins. Okay. Yeah. Uh, playing with your emotions. Um, juggling here with that, those three cards. I, I get the feeling like someone kept playing on someone's insecurities, especially when it came to, um, uh, um, suggestions of infidelity or outside party third party energy you know what i mean like someone knew someone had a particular insecurity about a particular thing and you have this devil bitch or asshole right here constantly taunting that person with that very thing with their very insecurities playing with their fucking emotions all the time probably uh multiple infidelities you know what i mean but knowing this person would always stay because this person you know was trying to do the right thing be the right thing or, or whatever here and someone got tired of the uh back and forth here Yeah, someone was, uh, there was a lot of secrets, uh, several occasions of infidelity within this connection here. What is this? And this came out in the two. <sighs> Eight of coins. And the fool. Yeah, somebody is escaping through work. But also, uh, somebody may be trying to sabotage somebody's focus uh, with all of this drama here. Some uh, Somebody's energy is, is affecting someone else's energy um, here, especially uh, causing some type of confusion and, and, and chaos and, and, and uh, manipulations um, at work here. Jim, uh, who is that? Scorpio, Gemini energy, something like that up in here. Yeah, a lot of confusion here in the workplace. And that's also another reason why, you know, so someone feels like someone takes someone focus um, basically here. And that's a reason why, you know, they're escaping. Uh, they're escaping through their work, but also to get away from what's distracting them uh, I, more like uh purpose is what i'm feeling here yeah you have change here on this uh chaos and and choices here someone actually physically picked up and left someone got the fuck up out of dodge or you will be or this is someone in relation to you cancer okay uh it's just too painful is what i'm hearing okay the whole process is painful here yes and there was a main partner again uh but then you know this main thing though this is my bachelorette the final rose type card you know and if you know that show you know that fucking show someone is always auditioning partners i don't know who that is it's either you or somebody in relation uh to you cancer but someone is always looking for the next big thing someone is always looking for you know they're they're they, they're always they they're always taking applications that's why you have this two of coins here someone has been juggling from the beginning from day one they never stop juggling it's like <laughs> you know taking notes or flashcards and then you put it away in a box somewhere and you keep it you know what i mean someone still uh keeps their rolodex they keep adding to their rolodex and they're auditioning for you know that's that's what that is okay Next, playing with, yeah, and that's where the playing with the uh, emotions here, okay, and fucking with someone's confidence. Someone's always dangling the competition in front of somebody, making somebody feel insecure and inadequate on purpose. What the fuck? Who is this? Bitch, who is this? <laughs> Woo! What is this differences? And, um... Yep, and it's like, what the fuck you expect me to do? A plus two is ten. That's why you left. That's why you left. Someone's like, you think I'm playing games? I'm not playing games with you. You know, we already got several uh, strikes or whatever going against us. Somebody's like, what you is what? <laughs> like you, they like someone watched somebody leave and couldn't fucking believe. She's like, I can't believe he actually did. I can't believe they actually like either you're picking up and leaving or in relation to you. You know what I mean? Like somebody wasn't playing this time. Uh, again, they got tired of the balancing act here. What's this devil?
somebody moved like they uh somebody uh somebody moved like <sighs> like they didn't expect it to end like they just thought that they'd just be able to play forever yeah pathway five plus eight. it's a cycle all right somebody felt the devil was leading them away from their divine path and they they're leading them away by constantly taking them through these cycles what is a tornado here it it takes you around and round and keeping them in chaos and keeping them confused and keeping them discombobulated and keeping you you know ungrounded okay somebody said no i ain't going down this fucking road with you no more i'm done and that's why they're picking up yeah mental prison here mental prison here Okay, on this two of cups, uh, this two of coins here, the back and forth, the back and forth, the back and forth. Somebody's want, uh, freeing themselves here. Somebody's freeing themselves here. Yeah. Somebody stole somebody money. We have thief and sudden wealth. All right, somebody been plotting from the beginning for this. Is, this is a partner that's been plotting from the beginning. Um... And has been doing it for a while. Has been doing, has siphoning is what I'm hearing. They were siphoning, they were siphoning, they were siphoning. Mm. Okay. What is the overall, uh, give me a love oracle for this energy. Cancer 2021. Whew. Let's see why it's the end and saying no joke. Yeah, someone's a monster. We got Mary Shelley from Frankenstein. Okay. It says, the beginning is always today. Elegance is inferior to virtue. Hot damn, that's a word. Damn, that's a word. Uh, this bitch said, elegance is inferior to virtue. A slavish bondage to parents cramps every facility of the mind somebody was a puppet somebody was a slave to uh, to, to to society or even like like here it says parents a slavish bondage to parents cramps every facility of the mind this is somebody who doesn't uh, have the ability to think for themselves and are always constantly controlled and manipulated by uh by their parents and they're perpetuating the cycle in their own family here okay puppet master is what i'm hearing somebody wants somebody to stop being a puppet and uh, they weren't able to um here mm, they weren't able to 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 <laughs> To tame the monster, to transform something, mm, Lord. Okay, uh, Cancer, that's been your reading. <laughs> I'm gonna just slide my ass on about. Boom, bust it. Mm. Hey, <laughs> slide on out of that. Okay, like this video while you're here, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Okay, don't miss a motherfucking thing. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Book a private reading with me. You can either email me or DM me. If you'd like to make a love donation, aka the tip jar, you can do that by Cash App or PayPal. That information is in the description box of the video. And thank you so much. I love you with the highest love, Cancer. One. You say I'm gonna make it. Fuck what you say, I'm gonna take it. If it's haters around, I'm gonna shake them. If that bitch wanna clown, I'm gonna bake her. If it's money around, I'm gonna cake it back. Stabbing niggas talk around town, they call fakers. All the bitches that I hang around be money makers, heartbreakers get dough by the pound. I love the lies, lime lies, take a picture of me. I'm at the club every night, getting lit, my homie. Blow a draw, pop it, mold, be the shit, my homie. Red carpet, head to toe, you know. Oh, the niggas on me. I see you watching, I ain't stopping, killer for the critics. Yeah, I done did it, we done did it, niggas deal with it. It ain't no shame, cause that's the name, player play the game. I forge ahead to sack my bread and count my blessings, man. My blessings, man, so. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it.